welcome back to my channel it's your girl samari love i'm back with another freaking video i feel like my camera is angle weird but you guys today i'm i have a lot to do so right now i am crocheting a tiktok shop order someone ordered a bikini and skirt set so that is what i'm doing i'm just finishing up on the skirt and then i have to go ship the product off but I wanted to get on here and give you guys a little vlog, um, or whatever. Um, yeah. So pretty much this vlog is going to be like, you guys experiencing me dropping off a package. And I want to go to Walmart and get some more yarn. But I know that I don't need to go to get more yarn because I have like a whole stash of yarn that I need to do something with. And if I keep buying more yarn... I'm just feeding it to my habits and I'm never going to get rid of the curry or that I have. So, I'm going to try to not go to Walmart, but I know I'm going to go. But guys, I also edited a video today that I'm going to be dropping or releasing onto YouTube soon. I just have to create a thumbnail, but other than that, I'm going to show you guys what I have so far on this skirt. And you guys are just gonna watch me finish the last row on the skirt. I really have like maybe a few more stitches to go. And I've been working on the skirt for two days now. I think it's been two or three days. So let's see. I'm gonna show you guys in one second. So this is the skirt. This is the skirt right here. As you can see, in the front it has two screens so that it can be pulled a little bit tighter. Um, this is a size small, um, but however the skirts, like, I make them where they can fit like a medium to small and you can just pull it tighter as much as you want so it can fit around your waist. One thing about these skirts are though that they're really heavy like and yeah like it's just really heavy but um this is how the skirt looks so far once i finish i literally just have i don't even know where i'm at oh i have this much left to crochet and then i'm gonna weave in the ends and then i'm gonna package it up for shipping i have to put the scraps on the um bikini top so i'm gonna show you guys that but right now I'm about to show you guys me finishing off this skirt. Um Alright guys, so I am using for the um ruffles, I'm using an eight millimeter hook. And I'm just doing double crochet all around. Alright guys, so I just finished the 7th round, so now I'm going to work on the 6th and 12th month size, um, which starts off by chaining 2, and then one double crochet in the next 13 stitches, and you just continue to repeat that, so that's what I'm going to be doing, okay, hold on, wait, <laughs> let me do the 2 double crochet first. And then one double crochet in the next 13.
Oh, alright child, so I am back. Today is another day. It's currently Wednesday, so it's been three days since I started this vlog. And today's section of the mall, or I don't know what it's called, but today's part of the vlog, I'm going to be giving you guys a haul of things that I have bought over the weekend. We're not going to talk about what I bought, because I'm about to go back to the store, and like literally I'm going to the mall in an hour. But I'm about to show you everything I have gotten that I spend my money on but first I want to show y'all I ended up finishing the beanie from last night the little hat from last night this is how it came out only thing I'm scared of is I don't know how it's gonna fit on the baby so <laughs> hopefully it comes out nice on her but so I just have a few items from the store so I'm I don't think I told y'all I'm flying back home for the winter or I'm flying back to my mom's house for the winter and I got me some gloves um these are so freaking cute i really love how they look and they're really soft i was thinking about making my own but i was like <laughs> i thought these were cute they were pink why not i also bought a beanie in which i could have made this beanie but i bought one because it's cute nice knitted nice and it has like the little saw these on the side or the bottom and a little ball <clears throat> So now we're going to get into the crochet products that I want. Oh, also y'all, I bought this sweater from Burlington. So, okay, so I went to, I went to Dollar Tree and I got some yarn. I got this premium, just one pound yarn. It was literally $5. So I got this from Dollar Tree. I got it in black. Red. And another red because I'm in the process of making a Harry Potter sweater. And as you can see, that process got started, but it never finished getting completed. So um, that's something I'm working on currently is a Harry Potter sweater. So I have three balls of yarn that I got from Dollar Tree. It was like $15. And then... Also got these finger guides, which I already opened, but I don't like them because I feel as though they're not really, how can you say it, useful, sufficient enough, I guess, whatever. Um, I had bought this knitting machine, which is currently on the table, if you guys can see it back there. And I've been trying to use it, but I'm still getting in the process of learning how to actually use it because I don't know how to use it overall. <laughs> And then I got some yarn from Michaels. I got like I think four or five of these because they were two dollars. I think four because it came out to eight dollars. And then I also got this type of yarn. It's currently on the knitting machine, so I can't grab it, but I can show you guys what I made with it. Um, what is this? I don't know. I made it on a knitting machine, but this is what I have and the stitches are coming apart as y'all can see but the yarn is really soft and I also got this blue yarn from Joann's which was $8 I think but I'm in the process of I need to get something from I have to go to Michael's and get an organizer why am I standing like that I gotta go to Michael's to get an organizer for my yarn because I want my yarn to be a little bit more organized than what it currently is. So that's something that I'm going to the mall to get. And then hopefully I don't go in there spend unnecessary money. But yeah, I'm about to try to get into crocheting another project. Um, I don't know what I want to crochet right now. Probably another hat or something. But I have to crochet like winter gifts that I want to get my family or give to my family so we will probably get into that maybe <laughs> i don't know i really don't know um you guys have been asking for a tutorial on my crochet bunny ear beanie and i'm gonna be working on doing that maybe i might do that tomorrow i'm not sure but i'm gonna be working on getting that out there because most well, so far to have asked for a tutorial someone else has asked for a tutorial on lemonade but I haven't been on them eight as much lately so 
um i'm gonna get that tutorial out there for you guys because i know it's like a really cute beanie that you guys are probably gonna want to see so i'm gonna get a tutorial out and i might make a written pattern for it if i can actually do so but <laughs> yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoying this video so far because i've been trying to do something different for my channel so hopefully this is the different that i'm looking for so yeah all right i'm gonna get back with you guys when i get in a little bit more productive mode okay okay all right y'all so i have currently placed in front of me this pink skirt that i never finished which i'm gonna use the yarn to make a hat right now so i have pink blue orange purple and then um this coral pinkish color i don't know what it's called but i'm gonna use it to make a crochet hat um how we're gonna do it is i'm just gonna make it like the colors are kind of like fading into each other so i'm gonna keep swapping colors throughout and um yeah so mainly majority of the hat is gonna be this pink color so i'm gonna get this started by Ooh, please don't do that <laughs> i almost made a knot rather than unraveling okay so i'm gonna unravel this pink one Literally, Hogwarts, and it got head wig on here. Has Potter glasses. Um, it also has uh, Gryffindor, and oh my God, who frog? Uh, only frog I remember is from <laughs> the window. But we have Harry sweater, and then I think Ron sweaters on here also. I just don't know where it's at. Yeah, right here. So it has Ron sweater. <clears throat> But yeah, it's so cute. But I'm about to show you how to be crocheting while knitting with the knitting machine. So give me a second to put the camera down and I'll give it with you guys.
can't really come up and pull out. It's okay. I'm back. As y'all can see, y'all see my little craft station in the back over there. It's it's a mess. But I'm back um, on this vlog. Um, I just came from the store, which I probably should never went because I just spent money that I wasn't supposed to spend. And I was going to get one thing and I bought because I'm like, you know, you can never go to Joanne's in Michael's and get just one thing. Y'all know that. So I got more items and I'm about to show y'all so I could finish off this vlog um, perfectly, I guess. So let me grab the item. Go for starters. I got this um Norm Winder. Um the Big Twist brand. Honestly, I got this from Joanne's and I had 60% off coupon, so that's why I got it. If we being real. And also I know you guys I think I told you guys I was making beanies. One of beanies for my mom and my nieces. So I got um three pom-poms i didn't know dollar tree sold pom-pom makers but i end up already buying these pom-poms because i don't know i really don't like the idea of a pom-pom made out of yarn i don't know i don't i remember making it in elementary school but i just don't like it now but i also want to show you guys um i don't know if y'all can see but right there i made that scarf today literally in probably like 40 minutes that's the quickest I ever made a scarf because I used my machine, my knitting machine. But yeah. So I got these compression gloves. Although I use my beaded um, crochet hooks and it doesn't really make my hand hurt. Um, when I'm like holding the yarn like this, I guess. It causes my fingers to hurt. So I got some compression gloves to help with that. Did I need something else in Okay. So now onto my balls. Um... I got this pink um, fluffy loops and thread yarn and I also got a little white because because I've been crocheting my niece uh, stuffed toy and then I also got um, this D rings and then I got um, heavy duty snaps like the buttons because as you guys seen in this vlog, y'all saw me start on a project. And one of the projects is a messenger bag. So, that's something I'm making. So, I'm trying to hurry up through this before my camera died. Because I have the current battery charged. But the one that's in the camera is dead. So, uh, so now, I got some, you know, some Dollar Tree. I got red because I'm going to make her a strawberry cow. So I was thinking about making a strawberry cow. Don't know if I'm gonna go through with it. I have brown, green, I have this light pink yarn, and then I got this to organize my hooks. I got this also because I want to do a challenge where I put yarn on it and put this into a jar and then basically just pull colors out of the jar that's gonna base off my project or that's gonna base the color of my project. I guess. I just got too much going on right now. And then I got a basket because what I'm about to do right now when I change my battery is turn my big yarn balls or the messed up yarns into cakes. So, yeah. Um, this is my last time going to the store to buy yarn because I don't have no room for this yarn and I keep buying more stuff. So, I need to stop. And that's what I'm going to do. Stop. I have a habit. A bad habit. And I can't get rid of it. But I'm gonna get back with y'all. Okay, so give me one moment. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna start with opening this. Um, I don't know how to wear this thing, so hopefully it has directions. Okay, I think I got it, but I don't know. 
I'm gonna see how it's working so far. So, hopefully. How do you slightly clap the yarn? Whenever you use it, plus E, proceed to the step three. Okay, so, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna start with this yarn. Wait. This is why I need to organize this yarn because, okay, <laughs> what, okay, thread the outermost yarn in through the metal loop, what, like, just do this? TikTok, they was doing like uh, heck, of, heck of stuff. Okay, so maybe it's like this. Nope. Y'all, I'm gonna watch a, YouTube, a TikTok video and then I'm gonna get back with y'all. Alright, y'all, so I figured it out. I was putting the yarn this way, it's supposed to be going this way, like literally on here, you see. And the girl, was, the lady wasn't showing it like that, so I'm assuming now I'm doing it right. But I just don't know if I'm winding the wrong way now. Hi right, guys, so I'm back, and as you can see, this current basket is filled with cakes that I just made. Obviously, let me show y'all for example. These two were put together, but obviously they're now split because for some reason the machine just wasn't given. This one right here is a scrap yarn cake, so it's like you know. But here's the basket of cakes that I made so far. Um, I'm gonna continue doing this until. I can get all my yarn organized a little bit. Hold on. All right, y'all. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue doing that until I can get my yarn a little bit more organized. But for right now, I'm just gonna end this video off here. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share this video, tune into my previous videos, tune into some more videos dropping soon. And yeah, I really don't have much else to say. Um, I'm gonna try to maybe get um, a tutorial recorder for you guys today because I really do need to get a tutorial because people keep asking about it. So I'm gonna do that. But I'm just gonna finish um, at least getting some of my yarn a little bit more neater, organized, and a little bit better. So yeah, all right y'all. Oh yeah, also make sure y'all watch my shorts. 
I seen on my shorts you're bringing a lot of views and a lot of subscribers and I really enjoy those that who have newly subscribed to my channel I really appreciate you guys and your subscribement a lot to me also the people that's been commenting your comments also meant so much to me I love reading your comments I love responding back to you guys because at one point I was not getting any comments any subscribers and now I see that you guys really enjoy my crochet content so I'm gonna try to come back with some more and better things okay all right bye babies Peace, love, and blessings.